GEC measurements type C11B2-R. The characteristics for this one are single phase to wire, 50 Hz, 240 volts. The loading capacity on this one is 20 to 80 amps. The load wheel uh, characteristic for this one is 200 revs per kilowatt hour. This particular electricity meter it was first calibrated and put into service in 1981. This one is a dual tariff electricity meter as indicated by the two readouts which we will be having a look at in a moment or two. There's the specification plate for this one. This particular electricity meter it was obtained straight out of service and as such it still has its original anti tamper seals. They're in opposite corners on this one. There's one down there on the bottom right hand corner and the other one is up in the top right hand corner, top left hand corner, just there. This one it has, is dual tariff electricity meter so as such it has two readouts on it. The bottom one which registers normal units is 17,820 and the zero is just gone past there and the upper readout which low registers the low units or the off peak units. Uh, the readout for that one is 71,081 and the point 0.2 has just gone past and the point 0.3 is coming up there in the red box. There are other variants of this electricity meter. The earlier variant was made by English Electric and the later variant was made by ABB. It was a company which went through a few changes and as such the uh, it started off as English Electric then it went over to GEC Measurements which is that variant that you see there and the later one was ABB. Over the years of changing changing hands the specification plate layout did change a little bit from time to time. This one is GEC measurements. A little bit later on in another video I'll maybe power this one up and we should be able to watch the load wheel go around in there and we should be able to watch it register up a load on the readout there. I'd like to say thanks for tuning in to watch this one and there will be more electricity meters later on so thanks for watching this one